Here's Delaware Governor Jack Markell's weekly message. Domestic violence destroys lives. It tears apart families and can leave its survivors with scars, both physical and emotional, that can take years to heal. And yet millions of cases of domestic violence happen in our country each year. In the most severe cases, domestic violence becomes murder. 1,300 deaths a year, more than three lives lost each day. Our great state of Delaware is not immune. Each year, thousands of cases of domestic violence happen right here as well. It's a cycle of violence and hatred that needs to end. Survivors need to be helped. Offenders need to be punished. That's one reason we proclaimed October as Domestic Violence Awareness Month here in the first state. To raise awareness of the resources available to help people trapped in these dangerous situations, including a 24-hour domestic violence hotline number in each county. Of course, if you're ever in immediate danger, always call 911. Besides raising awareness, laws passed the last two years have created new penalties for offenders, including a law that makes strangulation a felony crime. These laws have created new opportunities for survivors, including significant expansion of the time that protection from abuse orders can be put in place. And the law our Attorney General Bo Biden wrote and I signed this spring that gives survivors of domestic violence or sexual assault the chance to apply for a substitute address through the Department of Justice and therefore keep their new homes and addresses confidential. As one of Delaware's largest employers, the state government put in place an executive order to help state employees who were survivors of abuse recover and move on with their lives, a policy that private sector employers are encouraged to follow. Any incident of domestic violence and abuse is one too many. The fact that millions of families are affected each year is heartbreaking. And that's why raising awareness and enforcement is so critical. Offenders are not misunderstood. They are criminals, and they should be treated as such. If you're a survivor, know that there's help. If you know someone in a situation you suspect is dangerous, get them help. It's only by working together that we can break this terrible cycle of violence and abuse and help survivors and our state move forward. Thank you.